What is up my beautiful people? I hope you are having a wonderful day. And today's video we are going to taking a look at a little update on the One UI 6 for Redmi K20 Pro. So we already took a look at this. Last time it was a flashable ROM and it was pretty deep loaded like it was a One UI 6 base not even a flagship phone or ROM and it didn't have anything. This time around this is a DSU package so you can directly load it up on your favorite HyperOS ROM as long as it has a permissive kernel and it's dynamic. So as you can see currently running a dynamic system restart to use the original android version so this is running on top of hyperos android 15 and it does work quite amazing like i can just switch back to hyperos anytime but the rom hasn't crashed but the rom hasn't crashed even a single time the brightness just works fine you even have the flashlight toggle which doesn't work right over here but it does work in a third party app or just the camera but going through the this stuff i have already shown you the ui but even the always on display works this time again you can't actually see the clock but it's right over here let's just unlock again the spoofing hasn't been fixed so a bunch of the stuff from samsung is just not working if i just go to the themes quickly as you can see it's still recognized as redmi k20 pro so you don't have a lot of galaxy stuff not working but you do have samsung account so you can actually log in use a bunch of galaxy ai stuff as this is based on one ui 6.1.1 from galaxy s23 so it's pretty packed as you can see you have the edge panel which has a lot of stuff again you have the compass and everything you can even use the ruler which i do actually use on my s24 ultra so just going through the apps not a lot of stuff but you do have a rooted camera pop-up control so not only you can just raise and retract it right over here unlike last time but you can actually use any kind of your favorite gcam and it will just work fine as you can see again the camera quality from gcam the video quality is just awesome so going through more stuff not a lot you have your normal apps and they do work quite amazing like the performance is on par from something what you would expect a galaxy s10 running one ui 6.1 like it's very smooth no crashes at all so let's just go to the settings quickly this is how it looks with my samsung account logged in you have basic stuff like smart suggestions and stuff working even if you go to the connections bluetooth does actually work but if you go to connect it with something it does actually crash so yeah nfc must work on the global version of rafael then again scrolling down you have galaxy ai this time yeah so a bunch of the stuff doesn't actually work right over here but some of the generative stuff photo editing things do actually work quite amazing so if you just go here call assist won't work as we don't have network again the battery life on this thing is amazing you have chat assist which is broken interpreter i haven't actually tested but you can actually just do it yourself note assist is broken browsing assist works sometimes it does actually generate some summary photo assist is amazing a lot of the stuff does actually work right over here i'll show you guys in a minute you do have drawing assist again working fine let's just do something right over here let's just draw a car maybe this is a very horrible car but let's just see um i don't think it recognized my car but yeah it tried again this is one us 6 not 8 so a lot of the outputs won't be that good if you compare it to a latest galaxy phone but you have processing data on device which i don't think will work and pretty much all of the stuff is very poor so you don't want it on your phone so you have modes and routines your normal android stuff sounds and vibrations does actually work fine if you go to the display you have brightness working as usual even the adaptive brightness and extra brightness does work fine just like last time you even have the adaptive smoothness so it can actually take your display up to 90 hertz adaptively which is nice but i don't recommend overclocking your panel for longevity scrolling down yeah pretty much normal stuff like edge panel i already showed you guys it does have a lot of stuff like even the smart select which has been updated to the one us 7 version as you can see you can quickly just grab anything add a note use the ocr quite handy features you can pin it edit it extract the text quite nice very handy tool so scrolling down you have battery wallpapers and style in which you even have generative ai wallpapers but again it doesn't work like it's really weird that some of the server sided things do work but some just give up as you can see something went wrong 
so similarly if you just try to check your keyword like let me just type something go to the galaxy ai the composer and everything will just give up already took a look at the settings previously so nothing of use going through the about phone section you have android version 14 not that bad not too old with one year version 6.1.1 and i can't go back so yeah going to the home screen directly let's just check out few of the galaxy ai editing features so first of all let's just try the reflection eraser so going to edit object eraser let's just select eraser reflections give it a second and as you can see it completely erase the reflections from the phone screen so yeah that works amazing let's just try another one maybe erasing shadows with another photo let's just try this one again go to object eraser erase shadows give it a second as you can see works amazing it retains all the details while removing the shadow completely like i love using these features on my daily driver galaxy phone then i can just normal stuff even you can use the galaxy eraser if you directly go to the galaxy image you do have sketch to image but i think it just crashes the app so not recommended if you want to just erase it just go to edit and use the galaxy ai features from here you have the magnetic lasso so you can just tap on it erase not the best output but yeah present and yeah guys that's pretty much it for the little update on the one us 6.1 for redmi k20 pro i hope you guys like it if you found this helpful please drop a like if you want a complete installation method please let me in the comment section below and i'll make one soon and see you guys in the next one